and welcome to Anjan GCP Data Engineering. So in this video, what is the cloud functions, right? This is an introductory video on Google Cloud Function. This is one of the interesting service offered by Google Cloud Platform, right? So cloud function is a completely serverless execution environment for building uh, and connecting cloud services, all right? So we will see uh, uh, those use cases in detail in upcoming slides, right? So by using cloud functions, you can write a simple and single purpose code right which are attached to events entered from other google cloud services like google cloud storage and bigquery right so these functions can be written in different programming languages this supports many programming languages like java python and go node.js right like that we do have so many uh, other programming languages right so but in this video we will use python for writing our cloud functions so right now this is offered in two versions so the first version is first generation and the second generation right so we will see both in our demo okay so basically second generation is the advanced version of the first generation they have added so many other features for the second generation of cloud functions right so to work with cloud functions coming to the iam roles so the minimum role is developer role so it has read and write access to all functions or related resources and uh, it lets user to deploy and update and also delete functions, right? And also, uh, in order to have only viewer or reader access, this is one more basic role, viewer role, right? It's a read-only role, so where you can see uh, all the details about the cloud functions, okay? So coming to the use cases, so this is very interesting. So this is one of my basically favorite service, so where you can do so many automated tasks using cloud functions right for example let's say if you have to write some logic based on the files placed on the gcs file and also some data published onto a pub sub topic right so definitely you can use uh, cloud functions where you can write your logic for example let's say if you have to process files placed on the gcs and also pub sub data published to the pub sub topic then use by using cloud function you can write some ideal logic right you can once you process the data you can write the data into bigquery right so you can you can just try to write your all lightweight etls using cloud functions right and the second use case is web webhooks this is one of the one more interesting use case where you can write your code or logic based on the http events or triggers for example uh, let's say there is something happening on the third party apps like github slack etc right so definitely you can write a logic on top of this events right this is one more interesting use case and the lightweight apis so this is basically a microservice you can build design and build complete micro service architecture like loosely coupled lightweight apps right so this is also one of the useful use case and mobile backends definitely so you can write your logic against your five base events right so you can complete uh, you can you can completely develop backend logic for the same right and also you can even process the stream events using cloud functions which are coming from the iot devices so these are the few major use cases so in the upcoming videos we'll see one by one right so then you will come to know so what are the uh, advantages you have when you are you when you are writing your I mean, uh, your code and deploying into cloud functions. So, right. So, coming to the demo in this demo, since it is an introductory video, so we will see. We will try to write a simple code, and we'll try to deploy the cloud function using Google Cloud Console and also CLI command line interface. Right. So, as I already told, it supports different programming languages. You can you can use any of your favorite programming la language at your convenient. Right. So, in this video, we will use only Python. So you can even, if you are comfortable with Java, Node.js, Go, right? So you can use, right? So now let us quickly move to the demo. So we'll see, right, these things. Okay, now this is my Google Cloud Platform environment. So here, just go to the, click on Cloud Functions, right? Now this is the uh, basically uh, interface, it look like. So now in order to create any cloud function so click on create not now it will take to take you to this page so here 
so I, I already told that they are offering these service in two versions so in the first task I'm selecting first generation right function name oh. cloud function demo one all right and uh, so here you will have to select the region basically based on your selected region only your back-end computer vms will be spinned up and uh, they'll be available for you to, your usage right so i'm select let it be it, it will be like us central one and here this is one of the important option you need to select as i already told right you can write single purpose codes based on the events right so it in the first generation it supports these events like pubsub topic and cloud storage file and firestore like that we do have other events in the second generation they have added so many other events so we can see them when we are doing that uh, demo right so in this demo let me select the http trigger type okay uh, here authentication anyway it's a simple demo i am just selecting this option allow unauth unauthenticated invocations right in the upcoming videos so we'll we'll try to explore other options right now here we do have a runtime and build okay here so basically this is your computing environment which will be available once you deploy your cloud cloud function right so since it's a completely serverless so here while deploying code into your cloud function you, you have this option to always select your computing uh, options like so memory is 256 mb timeout is 60 especially come come over here here we do have an option called auto scaling right so based on your workload so number of workers will be scale based on your workload here it starts from zero and uh, ends at 3000 so let me only select two minimum is one for my demo, since it's a simple demo and always remember cloud functions always uses this app engine default service account so app engine is a other service uh, offered by google cloud platform we will discuss that later okay so now we have this option selected now let us click on just save this click on next okay now here you can see you can select your runtime this is where you need to select your programming language so it supports many other programming languages .NET, Go, Java, Node.js, PHP, Python so so we are using Python so this is our main file and we do have a requirement file for example let's say if our Python program using other Python programming languages sorry sorry libraries like pandas or any other data science related libraries then you will have to specify your package here right for example pandas right you will have to specify that version let us or something like this right so so you'll have to specify it so when you deploy this cloud functions and automatically it will be get installed right so right now i don't need this that's why i'm not selecting any so this is main uh, our python file so you can see this is by default it has given some template right so in this demo we are not changing anything so let us use this template as it is so let us try to deploy this function using this option then we'll see so then once it get successfully gets deployed then it will give an http url so once you click on that http url then you should see this particular message hello world right so let us deploy right and this is an entry point for this program right this is a function or class name but here it is a function name right so now let us click on deploy then this will be deployed right it will take some time so to be deployed so to to get deployed actually so let us wait till then. now this function uh, deployed successfully deployed so now let us go to the uh, this editor so you can see now this is if you see this green color tick mark that means this is successfully uh, deployed actually if you see some any red color uh, tick mark then there is some error and deploying that function right so this is executed function hello world right so now you can so if you if you have to see the details about this function just click on this blue color 
hyperlink then it will take you to this page right here we do have different option details about this function so what is the execution environment that you're using right the source code so this this will take you this page right this is a source code we are using and the variable for example let's say if you have to define any environment variable while deploying this function right then you can define those environment variable and the trigger so as i already told it has it has given some http url right so then permissions okay so the principles you can see so since it is using app engine default service account right so this is a it has the editor role already right so then logs so some whenever you try to trigger the cloud functions or creating the cloud functions all those related logs will be captured here you can see here we have deployed some cloud function over here that's why you can see these logs and the testing so you can also test this function using this interface right so you can just click on test right you can see the hello world that means this is right so th this got deployed successfully and you can see that output over here in the same way so go to the trigger and click on this url then you should see that message which is there in the cloud function source right this is a message right so this is how you can as a deploy a simple cloud function so this is very simple example in the upcoming video we will see some complex use cases okay now uh, let us try to deploy cloud function using our cli right so for that what you can do you will have to enable the cloud shell environment so for that so actually i am using the same code over here this is the same code right so so these are the commands which we have to use in order to deploy your cloud function from your command line interface or you work from your local environment right so let us go to this right so what we can do let me create one more directory to deploy our cloud functions right so let us go to that so now let me create that function over here vi so cloud Oh, no, let us keep the name dot py. Right. So this is the code I'm using. Same code. Sorry. Same code. Basically, it uses the Flask framework. So for this HTTP related functionality. Okay. So here only thing I'm just trying to print this is cloud function demo something it will be appended to this hello then it will be get get printed right so let me copy this all right paste over here now I have this function all right now when we need to run this command to deploy this cloud function right the simple command we are using gcloud command so functions deploy so this is my function name so since it's a http so i'm using this function in python http function and here we are using generation 2 and runtime python 3.10 and we are deploying this cloud function into this us central one region source i'm just asking this to read code from my current directory and then entry point allow http we need to provide that function name over here and this is a http trigger and allow unauthenticated unauth authenticated access okay so since it is a simple demo i'm just opting this option or selecting this option okay so let me run this command let us run so it will take some time Now you can see this function successfully deployed using our CLI commands. Now you can see all this information are displayed over here, name, right? This is the name of the function, right? And the project and the status active, 
right so this is the URL right so once you click on this URL then you should see that message which is available in the code you can see hello this is cloud function demo all right so we have this message over here so right so this is the other option where you can deploy your cloud function using CLI command right so th that's it for this video so we will meet in the next video thank you thanks for watching